wee windy witch of lickety split was not really bad, just a little nitwit. She could really be loud, and she liked to flit, and she wiggled and squirmed when she should sit. But Wendy could do great and wonderful things. She could fly through a window or door without wings. She could make tables and chairs move without strings. She could even remember the first names of kings. She could make it thunder or make it rain. At picnics, she was really a pain. And our special programs went down the drain when Wendy went witchy on the refrain. Our teacher, Ms. Fizz, was so dismayed. She'd say, my class is a mess. My nerves are frayed. And with things at their worst, then in strayed the principal, Judge Fudge, who stayed and stayed, squinting his eyes and shaking his head and spreading a terrible feeling of dread on everyone except Wendy, who instead was fixing a curse on red-headed Fred. We children wouldn't be friends with her. We'd stamp and scowl and hide from her. We'd whisper mean old witch at her and turn our backs and run from her. But Wendy could fly. And when she flew, you could hear her cry, serendipity do. Well, things at the school were in such a state. You couldn't believe all I have to relate. Wendy's desk was a mess. Her letters weren't straight. And though she left early, she always came late. She could make it collapse when you sat in a chair. She could rig up tangles in little girl's hair. And if you ignored her, she'd say with a flare, There are freelies, freelies everywhere. Our teacher calmly paced the floor. Our teacher gently closed the door. Wendy, I can take no more. I want to tally up the score. On Monday, you were very free. On Tuesday, you talked back to me. On Wednesday, ate the washroom key. On Thursday, you flew up a tree. On Friday, you came in at three. And Saturday, you began to be the Sunday child at mother's knee. Perhaps I should tell you before I forget that Wee Windy Witch of Lickety Split was not really bad, just a little nitwit. And so are we all, now and then, just a bit. But we children wouldn't be friends with her. We'd stamp and scowl and hide from her. We'd whisper mean old witch at her and turn our backs and run from her. But Wendy could fly, and when she flew, you could hear her cry, serendipity do. The fairy godmother, as well she should, came one day to our school and stood checking the roll as best she could, just to make sure that we'd all been good. Her kind and lovely face went pale as she scanned the teacher's grade book scale. We windy witch will have to fail. Her list of misdeeds leaves a trail. Wendy hung her head and scuffed her shoe while we all left our seats to view our little witch. Could this be true that Wendy might be human too? She hid her tears and looked away while Fairy Godmother went on to say, Think how you'd feel if no one would stay and be friends with you or ask you to play. What if all the children ran from you and stamped and scowled and hid from you and whispered mean old witch at you and turned their backs and ran from you? And if you could fly away in the blue, wouldn't you try serendipity do? We all tried hard to understand that Wendy just needed a friendly hand. We included her in things we planned. And she was the nicest witch in the land. That was the day the fairy godmother came to remind us to love one another. There is an old cabin down in West Virginia that only comes alive at night. When the ghost fiddler's music is heard through the window from beyond the gray bone line. 
The sad plaintive sound of little Jamie's fiddle comes rippling through the night air. And a few people dare to walk near the cabin and stay overnight or live there. Ghost fiddler.